Hey everybody, it's Charlotte and I'm here for a week 8 update. It's not good. As some of you may have known from my tweet, we got snow last night about 2 inches, 5 centimeters, and it is cold to the point where my dad, just before I started this video, is turning on the heat. And it is April 25th. It is supposed to be spring, I know, but it's not. Winter doesn't want to let go. So to brighten up everybody's day, I decided to do a little bit of a haul. What I've been using to run and walk and what I currently have gathered to prepare for spring and summer. So what I'll do is I'll start with my head. I have headbands. And that's a black one, a limey, greeny, yellow co color. Then I have a white one, a light purple one, a blue one, and a pink one. I'll tell you a little more why I showed you this one last. Just think, pink. You'll see a theme. Then, of course, we start going down. I bought some new sports bras for the summer months. And it is a pink color. It's almost like a raspberry pink. And what's awesome about these bras is they are reversible. This one looks like um, kind of a... I don't know, jersey fabric. So that's one. And then I have the lime greeny yellow and a blue one. A blue pattern. And then these are the two I've been using for mainly the winter. A pink one and a blue one. Now for thermal stuff. I recently purchased on sale, as they were getting rid of the stock, a thermal shirt, which goes under your um, technical shirts. And then my parents had graciously purchased me some thermal underwear to put under your yoga pants. It's a brown color and then I have a pair that is a gray color. Then the actual technical shirt. I have more than one but this one was specifically purchased at Target. This was actually a Christmas present from mom and dad. Once again it kind of was inspired by the the greeny yellow so then we go down towards my legs not only with the thermal stuff but with actual pants uh, I purchased these if I remember correctly um, was it early this year or late last year I think it was l early this year these were purchased over these a Christmas gift. Anyway, regardless, they were a gift of some pants. Then, just recently, as of a couple of days ago now, I decided as we're going forth the spring, hopefully. We went shopping for our spring running attire and walking attire, and I decided to purchase a pair of capri pants. Now, getting down towards my toes, I had previously purchased a pair of these socks. And it was probably beginning of the year, I would say. And 
totally love these socks. And the price was even better because they were only $3 a pair. So I decided to purchase a second pair and a third pair. Now this is where the previous comment about the pink um, headband comes into play. This week we found out exactly what color our Blue Nose Technical shirts are going to be. It just so happens it's called Raspberry Ice, or as the lady said, it's pink. And I have a feeling by the looks of the shirts, it's almost that pink color. And as you saw in the pants, I got motivated to purchase those pants because of these socks. You can see that it's purple. It does look a little blue, but it is purple, a light purple, I promise. And that was the reason why I purchased these. I actually had that first pair of socks on, and they have a band here at the bottom. And I had those socks on, and it was as if I had socks all the way up to my knees, even though I didn't. Then I decided, um, you know, 10K, 5 more K than normal. I decided my original water bottle was not enough. So, I bought a hydration belt. Not even realizing, you know, at the beginning that I would eventually have one. It's really, really awesome because what is right here I'm about to show you is the word perfect. Even though I'm not perfect, I'm far from it. I thought it was kind of ironic and funny when I saw the pouch on this hydration belt. And it was a heck of a lot less expensive than a running store or a high-end sports store. And it does the exact same thing. And this one actually fits. But yeah, I had a really um, rough week. As I just told you earlier, it snowed last night about two inches, about five centimeters, and it's been really cold to the point where Dad, like I said, turned up the heat. It's it's supposed to be spring, folks, in like 20... 20 days or so. I'm trying to think 25th, 26, 27, 28. In three weeks, in three weeks, I will actually be in Halifax. In three weeks from tomorrow, which is the 26th of April. It's insane. Three weeks. nuts. I just can't believe it and I've been very lucky to meet our team captain and to know that I'm going to be in good hands even though I really already knew that but just to meet everybody and kind of start that connection with the people from Halifax was amazing. I have a little spy behind me. I saw him sneak up on me. He wants to close the door. I think we'll let him. I think he'll uh, be much quieter out there. And it is a little damp in here and I think it's sucking out all the heat. On that note, I'm going to go get toasty, get warm, and get ready for Ronald McDonald House's volunteer appreciation event in honor of Vol National Volunteer Week, which was held at the beginning of the month. And I will see you for week nine. Have a wonderful day, guys. See ya.